Stanford University. Cool things about this process is really、uh, it's very simple, very low cost, very easy to do. We think this can really change how people, the way people make batteries. We would like to use this paper to put inside the neural cells. And produce a new type of、uh, a batteries. You take a piece of paper, that's a printer paper, Xerox paper, or the copy machine paper, and then you put the nanotube in, that's black color in, onto the paper. You can dip it in. You can just、uh, print it. Paper is highly porous structure. So once you have that paper with ink, you put it into an oven. You bake all all the waters. Then you have a really conducting paper, going from an initially very insulating piece of white color paper become a black carbon nanotube, highly conducting paper. And also, paper is lightweight.、Um, it can store a lot of energy without other dead weight. Eventually, your whole battery can get lighter and lighter. You can think about using this new type of paper batteries or silicon capacitors for. Large, large-scale energy storage, including the、uh, energy storage device connecting, connected with、uh, electrical grid to smooth out the electricity fluctuation, to connect these batteries with、uh, solar cells, solar farm, connect with a、uh, wind farm. We can use these paper conductors for、uh, lithium-ion batteries used for the car. What we gain is we can reduce the dead weight. Uh, of the、uh, batteries because paper is light. So paper batteries can change the energy landscape. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.